Control Trends community, this is Ken Smyers, and I'm with Brad Walter, CEO and President of Monit. This booth caught our attention. I've never seen such an extraordinary array of wireless sensors. Tell us about Monit, and to, we're going to go through some of these sensors because this is incredible. My first question is how did you get such a small footprint? So, over the past number of years, uh, technology has changed so that a radio chip and a microprocessor chip are now embedded into one chip. So that's where we started. That, that, that just happened in the past five years. Texas Instruments, a number of other vendors did that. And that's made it a lot easier and less expensive to create wireless sensors of this footprint. Well, for instance, I have a, a, a current sensing uh, wireless sensor. Tell us about this. I see, obviously, this is a this transceiver, yeah. uh, yep, receiver. This is, this is a transceiver. It's got, this is made for outdoor use. Very low temperature tolerant battery that can go to negative 40 degrees. Uh, the battery in there will last five to seven years in, in, in very harsh environments. And then this is a 20 amp current transducer. We also have 150 wow. and 300 amp. Brad, so what I see here with this array of wireless sensors is that you have a one, two, three, uh, easy way to do instantaneous remote monitoring. Tell us about a typical installation. Yeah, so it is one, two, three, it's five minutes. We have a receiver, which we call a gateway. It gets plugged in. It connects either over cellular or ethernet. Then you take a sensor, you put a battery in it, or in this case, you turn it on, and it's already transmitting data. Then you go to a website, which is your third step, and you simply set up the parameters you want monitored, and if it passes that threshold, it'll send you a text message or an email, or even a voice call letting you know. Well, you said something else so incredible. What's the, uh, the distance between, uh, how far can these wireless tra transmitters send a message reliably? Yeah, so that's Monet's claim to fame right now. We are the industry leader in wireless range transmission for a sensor. We go a thousand feet through 12 to 15 walls and I've tested that a number of times. Alrighty, well I'll tell you what, uh, we need to see a little bit more. Yep. All right, Brad, we're, uh, we're looking at an incredible product portfolio here and uh, what, I, I mean there's so many sensors. Pick up four of them for me and tell me about why they're so special and then we'll ask you some questions. Let's start with the humidity. Yeah, so humidity is, is, is one that's used uh, predominantly to determine humidity levels. Uh, we sell a lot of them in the sure. southern unit, U.S., obviously. Um, it's a nano-based technology, so the, the components are really small. Because of that, we get over two years of battery life with a simple CR2032 quarter-size battery. And, and let me get this right, so that's 2% accuracy? 2% accuracy on the humidity sensor. That you could transmit up to 1,000 feet to a transceiver feet. receiver. Mm -hmm. Yep, very Amazing. reliable. Yep. Okay, let's look at that lighting one. So lighting is another one. Um, so this is a light sensor that can actually be uh, uh, configured to either determine whether a light is on or off or actually degrees of light. Um, I had a couple of new deployments of this. One last week that caught my attention was a very famous um, museum on the East Coast where they were putting these next to the fine art to determine the light exposure to, to try to maintain those, those pieces of art. Amazing. Um, temperature is probably the most popular, of course. Temperature can be used uh, you know, negative 40 plus 180, or excuse me, negative 40 plus 80 uh, and uh, C. You said and that there was a maximum temperature range of up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit? Yep, well, so we have a high temp sensor that go up to 800 uh, Fahrenheit. We use, see those in a lot of uh, kitchen environments. That's amazing. So last one is a vibration sensor. This is an accelerometer placed on a piece of machinery to watch the motion of the machinery. If it gets out of whack, it lets you know for pre preventive maintenance. So it's, it's the cavitation of a piece of machinery as it starts to have problems. Well, sure, I, I you could use those on bridges for vibration as Absolutely. well? Absolutely, we do those, yep. We, that's, that's amazing, okay. So I, not to blow the, uh, the selling end of this, but I understand you're establishing a global uh, distribution yep. channel. We, we are. What does a typical sensor like this cost? Uh, low end, $50. High end for something that goes outdoors, two hundred dollars. All right, and is there a limit on the number of wireless sensors you can use in an application? Absolutely so not. You could, you could, you could feasibly do a whole building. Yeah, we have a building, for example, in Austin, Texas, where uh, it's a sixty-four story building, um, and they have dozens of sensors on each floor. Direct customer, it's exciting. So tell our Control Trends community how they can get a hold of uh, Monit. So Monit's available, our, our wireless sensors are available at www.monit.com, that's M-O-N-N-I-T, and look for us uh, through a number of distributors. We're just launching a distributor program right now. Cool, and where's Monit out of? Salt Lake City. I, I think you guys are gonna make an impact. Thank you very much, Brad. Thank you.